<laughs> I'm letting this another section here. I gotta be honest, I know a lot about your products. I know a lot about your tool holders and your power grips, and we're gonna get into some of that toward the end of this booth tour, but I'm somewhat unfamiliar with this area. Would you mind describing what I'm looking at? Yeah, this is really what we call the periphery to use our products properly. It starts obviously with a simple tool mountage blocker uh, that you can set up uh, for putting on um, your tooling or your uh, pull starter and it continues with the torque blocker. Now the torque block is a very smart device. It's being used with ER so that you basically can check what is the right torque that you need to apply to make sure that that nut is probably holding up the cutting tool. And usually when you over torque it, you're gonna have a deviation on the front. If you under torque it, you're not gonna have that clamping force. And that's a very common problem that we see in the industry. So we said, let's stop talking about you need a, uh, 25 Newton or whatever because nobody's really gonna do that unfortunately um, especially not in a market like India where we know the labor maybe is not on the same technical level so we need to help them by still applying the right clamping force with the torque block that is possible because it's just a simple indicator in they pull it to that level and there you go. Pascal I have to pause here for a minute because during my 12 year machining career three major companies three major areas from woodworking to steel and precious metals. I 1 million percent over torqued and especially in the beginning of my career because I always thought tighter is better. Yeah. If I can make this thing so nothing moves, it's yeah. a win. Yeah. And that's just not the case. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not the case because I call it, as you know, a spring call it, an ER call it. If you over torque it, you will have a torsion. So actually the entire coil itself will be torn, will, will, will have a certain torsion effect and that will have also an impact on the cutting tool. Especially when you have three, four, five times the cutting tool, then the tool suddenly will be misaligned and that's the worst that can happen. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see it by eye. You will only see it in your machining process. You will have vibrations, you will have a bad surface quality and you probably also have at one point of time a tool breakage. I learned all that later in my career. <laughs> wish, I, <laughs> wish I knew you about 25 years ago, I tell you that. <laughs>